how a digital strategy can enhance think tank management, research, and communications. Uh, uh, my name is Peter DaCosta. I consult with the William, William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, uh, and I work sort of across the portfolio of the Global Development and Population Program, uh, which includes the Think Tank Initiative. So I am based in Nairobi, and I travel around the continent, and some of you may have come across me when I come to your institutions. Uh, the objectives of this workshop are to provide a starting point for your organizations to begin thinking about digital strategy, uh, one that fits your context, your capacity, and your institutional needs. Uh, we also want to see if we can help you determine when, if, and how you should take advantage of the various digital tools and applications that exist to, to improve your management, research, and communication of your work, internally as well as externally. Now, I'd like to introduce our distinguished resource persons, each of whom is an absolute global expert uh, in think tanking, as well as in particular aspects of digital strategy. Uh, Vakar Ahmed is an economist who currently heads the Economic Growth Unit at the Sustainable Development Policy Institute in Islamabad in Pakistan. He's worked with UNDP, Asian Development Bank, WIPO, Oxford Policy Management, Irish Rural Economy Research Center, as well as the Ministries of Finance, Planning and Commerce in Pakistan. He's a visiting faculty member at the National University of Ireland, IMT Institute of Advanced Studies in Italy, and Pakistan Institute of Trade and Development. So he gets around quite a bit. Uh, he has served as an, as an advisor to the Planning Commission of Pakistan and was head of the macroeconomics section. He was also a technical associate in the economic task forces constituted by the Prime, Prime Minister of Pakistan. Um, to my left, I have Enrique Mendizabal, who is director of Mendizabal Limited and publishes the On Think Tanks blog, which most of you will have come across. Uh, you know, uh, probably the only blog that specializes on, you know, focuses on think tanks. Until the end of December, uh, end of 2010, he was the head of the ODI Rapid program in London. Uh, he's currently a research associate with ODI. He was there for, for, from 2004, during which he developed the organization's research and practice on think tanks, networks, research communications, and policy influence. He led the development of the Network Functions Approach, NFA, and the Rapid Outcome Mapping Approach uh, for planning, monitoring, and evaluating policy influencing strategies. And more recently, he's been focusing on the study of think tanks in developing countries. Uh, he's based in, in London, but he travels a lot uh, to Africa, Latin America, uh, and everywhere else, I guess. Right? Um, then we've got Nick to my right. Nick Scott is the communications manager at ODI, Overseas Development Institute in London, where he manages digital and event communication strategy, working with the events officer and communications assistant of digital and media to support ODI's use of these key channels. Uh, he specializes in supporting think tanks in using online communications to highlight evidence and inform policy globally as well as to specific audiences. He supported online projects in, uh, in a number of places, a range of organizations, including ODI, uh, The Guardian, Unlimited, which is the biggest and most popular international website uh, uh, for a newspaper, and the Metropolitan Police. Um, he has broad experience on all aspects of the marketing and communications mix and works across the organization to communicate research, provide advice on strategic communications, and basically generally support the ODI programs. Now, we only have two, work, two hours for this workshop, maybe slightly less than two hours, and we want to be as interactive as we possibly can be. Um, so any intervention should be short, concise, to the point, not quite verbal tweets because 140-something characters is a little bit small, but sh you know, short and to the point. So um, we will have 90 minutes after the workshops for people to interact and so on, so that you can use that time to interact with the resource persons if you want to engage with them further. Uh, so we'll start with three presentations, 10 minutes maximum each. Uh, Enrique will kick off by making the case for a digital strategy. He'll try and address some of the definitional, conceptual, and strategic aspects. Uh, Nick will then zero in on the strategy, uh, for digital strategy for communications, and so bridge the strategic and the operational. And Vekar will showcase SDPI's web television, web TV. Uh, and in between, so after every presentation, we'll have five, 10 minutes, five minutes hopefully, for reactions, comments, questions. Uh, and then we'll break up into clinics. Uh, so I'll tell you about the clinics after we finish with the presentations.